Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the yeah I mean it's it's uh, officially will be the final video that is dedicated league uh, and Eredivisie because next week I probably will do a, a roundup video over all of Europe with all the playoff matches uh, that are left to be played so yeah final one for the season and uh, well in the Netherlands almost everything was decided and yet we still have the playoff we we'll look at that uh, it was a really exciting final day in France that, yeah, uh, if I had better coverage here, I probably would have thoroughly enjoyed that one, to be honest, to watch that live, but they only showed one match and then another one, and that was that, and that was not how it's supposed to be, uh, but there was uh, one exciting uh, match, but, you know, it was on uh, two fronts going for, uh, even three fronts, going for the European spots, of course, the Champions League spot, the final one. Marseille, Pip, Monaco, although it's more or less Monaco threw the Champions League spot away, the fixed one. And then um, we had also for relegation, uh, it was tight for a moment. However, uh, before we get to all that in France, um, the biggest news I think internationally is that Kylian Mbappé has finally made a decision. And yes, uh, this is a PSG jersey, uh, please indulge me here, I'm for the first time using a jersey not from my collection in a video, but I said, yeah, I have now the one choice to show this PSG shirt also in a video, the one from all the 06 or 7 away, it belongs to Andy, before I ship it to him, but you know, let's honor the occasion there, there's a little bit gold on there as well, so yeah, uh, and PSG in fashion, blah blah blah, wearing of course away. Um, Mbappé has made a decision and it is pro league uh, or pro Paris. Now, um, I hear many different opinions, many say, you know, I think it's too easy for me to say he went for the money or that he doesn't have any ambition or whatever. I actually think, um, well, I heard a few theories. Yes, he probably, I think the offers uh, um, that he had in both cases were both very lucrative uh maybe signing bonuses uh could have done it for psg uh however i think there's a sporting there's also a sporting reason yes he could have gone to real madrid and probably have a better chance of you know you're playing at the biggest club in the world this is the club that he wanted to go to uh you were a big fan of zidane um, at the, on, the, on the face of it and history shows that especially in this season that uh, winning a Champions League with Real Madrid is probably uh, a lot likelier than winning it with PSG. Also um, La Liga has a much much better worldwide audience than uh, Ligue 1 does. Although I think Ligue 1 is slowly growing and especially on the back of PSG and having a little bit more star power. What's missing in Ligue 1 definitely is that there is a second if not a third team that would have that pull and I think these guys would be primed for it however they are money wise not uh, all that great unfortunately. So yeah uh, I think if that that definitely uh, is a factor that you could regret you would like to see the very best players play in the very best leagues. I get that. However, I think the choice that he made is, he is he is from Paris. I was about to say Paris born and bred, uh, <laughs> about and ripped off uh, a, a journalist that I follow a lot. Uh, he is from Paris. And I have to say, there is a certain thing. Yes, you will win Liga you will, and you will get probably more trophies at PSG, at least more domestic trophies, but that doesn't count. What counts is the Champions League. You have probably one more year with Messi and Neymar. Don't think it counts too much either. But what counts is that you are not a big honcho in, uh, at PSG. You will most definitely be consulted if, uh, if for uh, the coaching and the sporting director hire because I think both Leonardo and Pochettino go out. But I think the big thing for me is are you be will you be the one will you be the local boy that delivers the champions league the first champions league to your club and to be or, or if you go to real madrid are you one of many in the long history uh killian Mbappé is an awesome talent i have my doubts that he will get the same legendary status as the uh, di stefano 
or a uh, Ferenc Puskas, or even if we go now uh, more recently as a Cristiano Ronaldo, we don't know that quite yet. He may or may not, and yes, Real Madrid would be the perfect stage for that, but he's still very young, he still could go. I also think that there will be a release clause in this contract, that he has now made a contract, he will stay probably for a year, maybe two in Paris, have a go at the Champions League. Also. Uh, although I think this is a rather tenuous um, thought for preparation for the World Cup, isn't it better to stay in France where you don't, where you basically have to, you can take, take, take it easy, just the Champions League matches, uh, secure your adva- uh, uh, that, 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 that you're advancing there. Yeah, I also think that uh, for PSG owner Al Khalifi, who is of course from Qatar and is very much in the. Uh, getting the World Cup there and blah, blah, blah. It was very important that the world champion goes there with his player. So I think there were many, many points there. Uh, I don't think that Real Madrid will be, you know, it's a defeat for them. And uh, a a calm and collected country like Spain took it very, 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 very well. But that's for a different side of of, of, of the story. It is a defeat for now for Real Madrid. I don't think it's ha- that's uh, all done. And I think the other thing is that f- to me, the Mbappé signing also my may point, although I cannot really imagine it, but it may point that Zinedine Zidane might take over at the club. Just saying. So yeah, that's Mbappé. Of course, he was presented on the last day of the season coming out with Gil Khalifi. I'm showing up. I mean, it was such a surprise reveal that they do it in front of your own fans. Yes, he went out there with a white shirt, but please. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, this would have been the cherry on... No, I should It should, would have been the third on the shit pile of the PSG season, where they still won the championship. If Mbappé walks out on stage and shows, I'm going to Real Madrid. That would have been uh, just perfect. So, yeah. So, that much on Mbappé. I would say we'll go into it and actually I don't want to start in France, I really would like to start uh, in the Netherlands where we had the last round, I give you here the results, I mean there's not too much, I mean for the Netherlands almost everything was kind of anyway already decided ex- except for going down where yes uh, Willem Dway are, are down in Sparta, uh, Rotterdam uh, do survive. Heracles got pulled into the playoff and Zwolle never had really a chance having to play against PSV who of course wanted to win out the season but you know Sparta Rotterdam staying in was a big one that they beat at Heracles and pulled that one those in I came a little bit as a surprise because Heracles was kind of looking sort of safe and suddenly they are uh, down and out as we will see they're even more down and out than you might think Feyenoord of course losing at home uh, it's all about the Conference League final for them and we test get a credible draw against Ajax. So uh, final table, Ajax, PSV are the top two, Feyenoord will play in the Europa League uh, regardless of whether they win the Conference League or not. And then we have of course uh, the playoff where um, I think Twente is in the Conference League and it went all the way down to Herr and Wayne, uh, thanks to PSV winning the cup, so uh, they achieved it down as well. So I think uh, Twente is even in the Europa League, if I'm not completely mistaken. Uh, that is now uh, my bad that I didn't update this in the table, but uh, please uh, stick with me there just for a sec to uh, confirm that we have, of course, uh, 20 are in the conference league. Yes, that's what I would have expected. And then we had a four, we have a 14 playoff where AZ uh, against Herrenveen and Vitesse against Utrecht. Uh, we'll see how that goes in a second. I just want to focus on the bottom of the table where I said Heracles on the last day of the season are leaped by Sparta and Fortuna Sittard, two, uh, two teams that really looked down at Adam Willem Dwey, uh, despite having a good run of results as of late, just quite didn't make it, which is a little bit sad because you know that I like Willem Dwey jerseys uh, a whole lot, so I would have loved to have one, but you know. Also, loads of changes in uh, midfield with Herren Wayne uh, just managing to sneak into this eighth position. Now, having spoken about the playoffs, we have already the first legs of the semifinals uh, played. Uh, second leg will be played today, but I said because of the Mbappé story, and I will do anyway a roundup of all the playoff games uh, towards the end of the season. Let's uh, see it here. Heron Vane 
beat AZ at home and Utrecht 3-1 over Vitesse. So both outsiders actually having an advantage and Vitesse's season really taking a nose dive uh, as of late because at one point they really look like they are top four material. No, they're not. As for the relegation, you actually see... Um, that uh, Heracles got uh, put into the semifinal against Excelsior and uh, then Haag against uh, FC Eindhoven. Yes, there's another team from Eindhoven, uh, Excelsior of course being from Rotterdam. And Excelsior are completely destroying Heracles. So Heracles are already in the Erste Divisie um, and uh, it's now between Ado Den Haag and Excelsior for this final spot. Um, just as, as, as an update, the two other promoted teams from uh, the Erste Divisie are of course Emmen, who got um, similarly in the playoffs um, ousted last uh, year, year round and Volendam is, or oh, oh, Volendam I guess it's called. Uh, also uh, back. Now, uh, if you look at table, then Haag were fourth in the table, Excelsior uh, actually third. Uh, now, uh, Eindhoven uh, or a third, so then Haag were fourth and Excelsior finished sixth. So I would give a slight edge to Den Haag, although I'm very impressed by Excelsior's um, performance against Heracles. So there is a chance that we may have three teams from Rotterdam next year in the uh, league, which is also uh, rather impressive, I gotta say. So, so much for uh, the other division. Let's look at league. Uh, and this is now from last weekend, the round uh, with Lyon winning against Nantes. Uh, Monaco, uh, rather big 4-2 win over Brest. Um, which actually allowed them uh, to go into the second spot in the table uh, because Rennes beat Marseille uh, rather com 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 convincingly. Then for the Monaco win, uh, quickly on that one, they were found themselves 2 0 down uh, within 23 uh, three minutes and they came back uh, through uh, Wissam Bignetta with a hat trick and then Folland. Uh, so rather than Monaco, really, really good form, whereas Brest uh, already in the second half, uh, in the first half, had scored the two goals and really, really dominated OM uh, on, on, on that one. The uh, goals come from Burigo and uh, Mayer. Um, another one, of course, is that Messi scores uh, for the first time more than one goal in the game in a 4 0 destruction of Montpellier. He's scoring the first two goals, Di Maria and Lucas Mbappe adding the other two. So, um, also on the bottom. With Saint Etienne losing to Reims, uh, we had Bordeaux and Nilne against Lorient relegating Bordeaux. So I'm losing, and we will see that I, I don't have many replacements coming. I'm losing uh, League 1 teams left and right in my collection. And Bordeaux is one that I never really thought happening. And Metz actually um, going into the 18th spot with a win over Angers. So ahead of the season, and it's just on goal difference that Metz were ahead of Saint-Étienne. However, the problem for Metz were that they had a date with PSG on the day that um, Mbappe extended, which they didn't know at that point. Uh, it also meant that uh, before the final day of the season, we see that Stade Rennes and Strasbourg are actually ahead of Nice. So, but all to play for um, and one team was about to miss out. However, the scheduling did not definitely, definitely didn't work in Strasbourg's favor. Um, and Monaco had a real playoff because Lance also could have made it into there. Uh, Monaco against Lance uh, with a head to head, who more or less, who goes into Europa League and their one can go into the Champions League if they wanted to. And it is this uh, Monaco game that we have to talk about because that was the most exciting one uh, where uh, Lars took a lead through Frankowski but uh, just a few minutes later Bidia Schiele, uh, can equalize for Monaco then a game going back and forth Wissam Ben Yedda after a fall and cross gives Monaco the lead a lead that they hold on and maybe cannot even extend further uh, and it goes into the stoppage time uh, where uh, Ghana go in the 95th minute after Kevin Danzo cross Austrian defender gets an equalizer. And at that point, Lars needed to win it, but they barely had any time. And so with this last uh, strike of the game, yes, it probably felt good to not lose your final game, but the result didn't help anyone because Monaco 
Head to now, I uh, hope that Strasbourg, who were also uh, fighting for European glory, uh, would get something. No, they did not. They lost 4-0 to OM at home. With the goals came from uh, Gerson, uh, Under, uh, and, and Bakambu, making rather, rather, rather emphatic uh, there. So uh, that meant that... Um, OM leapfrog uh, Monaco and Ren also cannot get, 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 get done because they twice fall behind to uh, former champions Lille and it is only a 2-2 so Ren also putting their, uh, <laughs> their hopes in jeopardy but with Strasbourg losing it was all uh, yeah, it, it was Strasbourg who, 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 who were going to f um, miss out of course Ren with a win could have probably put themselves in a really really good position as well uh, and then on the bottom uh, we had PSG of course Mbappé running riot scoring a hat-trick and Di Maria scoring a goal uh, in his last game and uh, I think the Neymar also scoring one um, and it became almost a problem for them sorry <laughs> Uh, a problem for them uh, in terms of goal difference um, if uh, Saint-Étienne were losing if they were losing heavily Saint-Étienne on goal difference could have leaked for it but Saint-Étienne get actually a uh, late equalizer in 79th many through Hamouma um, um, at Nantes uh, Blas uh, getting the penalty like in the cup final so in the end it ends 1-1 Meaning now that in the final league uh, table of the season, ah, I forgot Nice beating, uh, winning 3-2 in Reims, so that was also an important result. You see a whole lot of things happening. Uh, in the final table now, Saint-Étienne go ahead of Metz. They go into playoff. We'll talk about that soon. But final results now. Marseille are in the Champions League. Monaco with that point are in Champions League qualification start, Ren uh, get the Europa League spot, stay in fourth place, and Nice go ahead of Strasbourg. Uh, as you can see, Lance probably had a minimal chance, uh, but you know, with Nice winning, it was, that one was also gone. On the bottom, as I say, so uh, that means Strasbourg miss out, Lance miss out, Lyon miss out, and I probably should actually uh, double check that as well, because you know, with all the cup finals, but uh, since uh, not won the cup. I think this is exactly how it was uh, happening. So uh, bear with me. It's rather, yes, Nice are in the Conference League um, as well. So I, I'm good on that one. So yeah, final league standings. I'm, it means definitely I need to get a Nice shirt uh, to be prepared for any uh, Conference League action. Uh, so um, we have now the playoffs relegation playoffs um, which actually started already in Ligue 2 where uh, Paris FC uh, lose to Sochon Montpellier who then lose on penalties to Agé Auxerre um, yes a former French champion uh, have now a chance against Saint-Étienne to go into Ligue 1 so it's actually a rather uh, interesting playoff which will happen on Thursday and Sunday next week. Who else is coming up from Ligue 2? Uh, we have Toulouse, sponsored by Redbird, uh, who are probably taking over Milan, and Ajaxo, which is also rather exciting, I have to say that uh, we have a team from course back on there. So yeah, that was it from me from uh, the happenings uh, in Ligue 1 and the Eredivisie. Um, I have to see how I will continue if in the, ne in the next season I will keep it this way or I, I want to make changes. I want to use now the summer break to really think about how I can make it work for me. Uh, that Because I saw it takes a whole lot of time to cover as many leagues. However, I really enjoyed those two leagues a whole lot, so I definitely will keep them on the radar, but I have to see how I will do it with the videos. In any case, please let me know what you thought about this. There will be a final video with all these playoff results. They will come uh, in a week from now, roughly, probably Monday or, or so. So yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.